Hello everyone, this is Elaine. Welcome back if you are a returning viewer and welcome if you are a new viewer. My name is Elaine and you can find me on Instagram as Elaine Tom. You can find me on Ravelry as Elaine Maxeb. You can find a B-Wool Studio, my Etsy shop on Etsy. You can find me on Facebook under Nabi Will Studio and Elaine Tom, and sometimes my posts go to Twitter, and I think that's about it. So um, this is, I think, at least the fourth or fifth time that I've tried making this um, podcast, and I end up always doing something really weird or goofy and throwing it away and starting fresh. So hopefully this one will be the one. I'm not sure which episode this is, but um, it will be in the title. So the first thing I want to talk about is something that is launching today, and it's from Gullet Farm. So it's uh, launching on the 1st of November, and uh, here's their label. So it's gulletfarm.com. And this is their uh, very limited yarn, and I was sent a sample to see what I thought, and... Um, I can tell you I love it. So this is a Shetland Romney mix and I um, made a little swatch with different stitches so I can see what it looked like. So I started with the 2x2 two two rib and some stockinette um, cables, some garter and uh, moss stitch and one by one ribbing and uh, it bloomed beautifully. It's very drapey, uh, it's very soft, it's next to skin soft for me and it's heathered, and I'm not sure if you can see that. It's a natural color, and then there's also like a grayish, beigeish, brownish heather to it. And there's a halo, and I think you can see it. So um, I knit this on a 4.0, and I just wanted to see what different things look like on it. And you can see that the stitches are really beautiful. There's great definition. Uh, it bloomed really beautifully also, and it was a joy to knit. So um, I know that the yarn is very limited, so it's releasing today on the 1st of November, and I think you should definitely get on it right away if you wanna try this. I would love to have a whole sweater in this, and um, it would just be something that just can showcase the yarn because the yarn is really fabulous. So that is from Gullet Farm. I have a bunch of FOs to show. Um, this one is the only one that I'm showing that's been released. This is the Alcyone, I believe it's called, and it's from Brooklyn Tweed and Paula Piera. So I use um, Brooklyn Tweed imbue which is, is their worsted weight that's the orange and that's the colorway lantern and then the main the blue is Dura natura uh, gilead so it has a simple cable in the front in the back it's just the stripes um, there's version you, there's different uh, directions for a crew neck a mock turtleneck um, i did something sort of in between the crew neck and the mock turtleneck and I went for the fitted sleeves. You can also do classic sleeves. And mine is a little bit more cropped. And I really had a great time knitting it. It went really fast. It's um, worsted weight, so it's pretty good for fast knitting. Then something that's coming out, I believe, next week from Tansuko. And uh, Duraco is her name. And that's the daily sweater. And um, this is a two by two, two by one ribbing with some twisted rib on the hems and the cuffs and the neck. Um, and then there's also a pearl stripes and raglan. Uh, so I knit this using uh, Brooklyn Tweed Loft in Foothills colorway and Nubby Wool Studio Mohair, and it's the limey colorway. And it the color is not showing up well here. Uh, it's much more, it's warmer, it's brighter, it's more saturated, but um, that is coming out next week. And hopefully you'll be able to see it better in my 
finished photos uh, when the pattern is released. Then I also did a test knit for Gudrun Johnson, a Shetland trader. And um, this is a bulky weight colorwork sweater. And I use Realm of Vams as the main, that's the blue. And then uh, the green is from Rosa Poma Retrosaria, that's Zagal. And the white I also bought there years ago when I went to Retrosaria. And I think it's um, called Lana, L-H-A-N-A. And I could not find any information online about this company anymore, so I don't think it exists anymore. And then the dark blue is my hand dyed, Nubby Wool Studio, and it's a yarn that I held double. So that's coming out, I believe, in two weeks from Gudrun Johnston, and you'll see more of it then. And I have a bunch of F, no, bunch of whips. I wish were FOs. So one of them I started last night, and I have to hurry because she's releasing it for Barcelona um, Knit Festival, and that is happening on the 3rd. So I started this last night. Um, I don't know, I, I got lost in all of the dates I have going uh, for all my test knits. So this is from Zola Wool and uh, her yarn, and it's really beautiful, the design. So it's a colorwork yoke, and uh, I'm about halfway through the color work. And uh, I can say the yarn is wonderful, the colors are beautiful, and the design is just the sort of color work I love. It's very rhythmic, it's uh, really no long floats, and um, two colors at a time, and I'm hoping that I can finish this in time. Wish me luck. And that is being held in my beautiful Buku tote bag that I love, one of several. I also have the knee pullover, which is from Erie, and that should be coming out in a couple of weeks also. So as you see, I need to work faster. It has a folded collar and it's two by one ribbing, raglan, um, and I'm about to separate. Uh, my body and sleeves and I'm using blacker yarns it's the birthday yarn for this year folklore and this is the natural colorway and it is really wonderful um, I also got the DK weight in but it's dyed and I can't wait to use that for something soon also I also and I think I showed this last time this is the to draw sweater, and this is using a Beeble Studio yarn. Uh, this is a Coradale. It's got a split hem, and it has a braid, and um, some detail on the side. But uh, this is pretty fast going also. And then when I get to the part where I draw, I will draw with mohair, and, and uh, hopefully I will get to that soon. This is also releasing in a few weeks. Lot of things in it and then this is from Annie Haas this bird knits and I think I showed some of this last time I've separated and this is um, using Phil Kalana again with all of them the colors are not showing up very well so this is a uh, Phil Kalana Pernilla this is the brown and the blue and then it's the Tilia held double which is the mohair the purple and um, yep, so there's a texture on the body. It's just like a twisted stitch. So that is also coming out in a few weeks, I think 13th maybe. And I have to cast, oh, no, let's show this. This is my ranunculus. Uh, and I'm using Plutolopi that I bought in Iceland at the Alifas store. This is supposedly a discontinued color, but it's black and it has red and blue and yellow in there and um, really, really fun to knit. I'm holding it double so it makes it easier to knit and not as delicate to knit and it's not breaking um, as easily if you're holding it single. 
and I will have to cast on uh, my Sharpay sweater and I dyed this mohair and again the color is not represented well in this podcast but um, I'm going to hold that with my Jameson's uh, Shetland uh, and then it will be uh, like pleats or plissés they're um, there are little folds in the sweater. That's why it's called Sharpay. And that's releasing towards the, it's the end of the month, so um, I need to cast that on. And I also dyed some green yesterday, and again, this is not showing up very well. Um, it's much more jewel toned and saturated and uh, brighter than it's showing on the screen. But I'm hoping to dye more yarn again soon. So, as you see, I'm really, really busy and have a lot of knitting ahead of me. On the last episode, I asked for um, any suggestions and any questions that you guys want to hear from me. Uh, Questions about my favorite yarns, my favorite tools, and um, how I get my sweaters to fit me properly, and... um, whole bunch of other questions so if you guys have more questions please keep them coming i am making a list and i will do podcasts in the future answering these questions uh just not right now because as you see i have a lot of whips to get through in the next few weeks to make um to try to make all the deadlines so um i would really love it if you please comment and send me any suggestions you have for topics that you would like me to discuss Um, It'd be great if you gave me a thumbs up, and I hope you are a subscriber. All of these things will help build this channel, and um, that would be great. And I'd really appreciate it, and um, I hope to speak to you all soon. Thanks. Come back again. Bye.